All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're continuing on with the Timber Creek Build PSA Airborne Arms DS Arms. All kinds of cool collaborations. But the next thing we're going to be talking about, because I want to get this bad boy built, is this guy right here. This is the Timber Creek Enforcer Handguard, 15 inches. Now, they do have one that they call, it's a little bit probably better. It has a continuous rail all the way across. But because we're doing something that's concerned... Well, we, we, we want to talk about a little bit of lightweightness because if you look, not that this, well, we're using a billet lower and upper. We're not concerned really too much about weight, but it's a minimalist, of course, and it's blue. And All right, so anyway, let's talk about this guy right here, 15-inch um, Enforcer Handguard, slim, lightweight design integrated with modular flexibility. All right, we'll talk about your modular flexibility. Durable aircraft grade billet aluminum body, barrel nut included, no timing or shims required. That's important. Full length mil spec 1913 rail pick rail. That must be talking about the other one. Lifetime warranty. Uh, compatible with AR 15 uppers, requires low profile gas box. All right, exactly. This guy right here, according to the manual, hold on, wait for it. Uh, is your retail price of $259. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Uh, also, just let you uh, talk, tell you, uh, they offer them in about every variety of color. We'll go ahead and put the link on my website. Uh, we're going to try to get that built up. Well, anyway, I want you to take a look at this thing. We got a QD mount right here, QD mount right here. So that's the cool part. Oh, and on the bottom right there, you've got your uh, M-Lock series. On the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to imagine that we're going to have 21 all the way around because 7 times 3 equals 21. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. uh, so anyway, you've got the availability to have a pick rail up here. So if you want to mount any kind of lighting or anything else, of course, you can go ahead and put an air socket over here and go right there. All right. Important. What's important? Well, we're talking about weight right here. And I've got another rail right here this is well the midwest industries light rail and uh had some issues with this guy and pretty much it's almost identical one two three four five six seven seven it has 21 slots as well so let's do this this guy right here which i thought was a good comparison to use is 9.7 ounces the timber creek is 9.1 9.7, 9.1. Well, it's not really fair because this doesn't have a cut or the relief up in here. But anyway, it gives you an idea uh, if you're looking or you have one of these, the comparison in weight. So let's talk about a couple other things. Let's pull some, uh, we've got our Allen wrenches out here. That's the wrong one. Is this the one I want? Man, I had all my Allen wrenches. Here we go. Previous review. It's held in place with two Screws right here, we'll go ahead and pull those almost loose. There is a, looks like some kind of a plastic diaphragm right there that would be used to help with the compression of the fit, making sure you don't push these things totally together. And then you've got two set screws, which are right here. We'll go ahead and back those out because the idea here, I want to remove the barrel nut. All right, so the barrel nut, you can use a regular old crescent wrench. It's no big deal. Uh, I would suggest whenever, and I always do this, and I don't know what I just did with the stuff. Bought this off of Amazon, Aeroshell 33 grease, thread grease. I'll put the link down below, uh, but a little dab will do you. <laughs> and this is the AR-15 barrel nut grease, mil spec, Aeroshell. Okay, anyway, we got that. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to mount it. On this guy right here, uh, first thing I want to do though is we're going to do a review on the uh, gas block that's going to be done on here. So uh, we'll go ahead and put this thing on. So let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and get our gas block and we'll do a real quick review on that and then we'll assemble this whole thing and pretty much have almost a rifle that's ready to go with the exception of 
the heartbreaker. And I found out the reason it's called the heartbreaker is because of the cuts on the side. It looked like hearts. All right. Well, anyway, guys, this is the initial review. Once we get the rifle put all together, it should be kind of fun. I do have a new optic that we're going to put on this guy for testing. Uh, and it will be interesting to see how much, how accurate this guy right here, the uh, War Sport, this is their 223 Wild 1 and 8 twist. I'm a big fan of the 1 and 8 twist. So anyway, guys, that's it. Timber Creek. It is pretty light. With that being said, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. Look at that thing. Isn't that beautiful? She's blue. And you get them in a lot of other colors. Go to War 32. I'm out.